That's today is Dr. Leniv. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Amazing, how are you? Great. So, what do we have here today? We have a bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have an old denture on the bar. Uh, you can see that the, the original denture was made on one, two, three, four, five, uh, five implants. Uh, we've added another more, one more that you can see here in the posterior region. And we want to change the restoration of a removable denture on a bar to not removable prosthesis uh, bridge. Right now, we want to at first take impressions. We weren't sure what kind of multi-units we would want uh, to use in the anterior area. Around the anterior implants, we had some gingival recession. So the implants are visible. We need to use angioid multi-units. So we chose to do a couple of things. First of all, we chose to take impressions on the most suitable angiot multi-unit that we thought will be fine for this case. And because we don't want to call the patient again, and we took on implant level uh, those impressions, also if he needs to change the multi-unit, if those multi-units won't be uh, suitable for this case, so we'll have all the options. So when you're using implant level scan abutment, you can switch for every multi-unit from the library. Yes. Straight, angulated, everything Exactly. You want. And when you choose a multi-unit level scan abutment, you need to choose the multi-unit that you want already. Yeah, before you take any impressions, but uh, the design process is much simpler. So we, we took both of the impressions at the same time. And you used composite to hold and to have the occlusion. Yeah, and we connected all the scan abutments with composite material. First of all, to uh, take back the registration. And second of all, because the scan abutments are very tall and we want to have some rigid part that connects all the scan abutments. So the impression will be much, much more accurate. This is the bridge that you can see that eventually uh, was made. Uh, the bridge on six implants. The implants were replaced uh, in regions where we had bone and regions where the old implants were placed. So we didn't have really much of a choice in here. And we took the design of the old denture and using this design, we designed a temporary bridge for the upper jaw. Because the patient is used for this design? Yeah, the patient gets used to it. The, the vertical dimension is not that bad. It's, uh, quite good, so we chose to do this design. You can see both of the uh, Engate multi units uh, sticking out of the gingiva, but we don't have any, any other option because the implant itself is outside the gingiva. I see it got a um, purple pinkish color. Yeah, the Engate multi units were anodized, so they'll stick out a li little less. But uh, in the smile line, you don't see the, the multi unit. So yeah, the smile line in, is in lower. In this case, it's fine. Uh, either way, you don't really have an option because uh, taking out those implants, uh, make, uh, making some bone augmentation and replacing them is very hard procedure, very big procedure. And it can end with major aesthetic flaws. So it's not the best thing to, to make in this case. This is the temporary restoration. Yeah, the second bridge. this is the second temporary restoration that uh, the design is much better. As you can see, this multi-unit was changed because the screw channel uh, wasn't in place. Uh, the teeth got a little, little bit whiter. And uh, this is a temporary restoration. Yes, this is the temporary restoration. Right now, we're going, we're going to take a break from the upper jaw and we're going, going to take an uh, impression from the lower jaw that uh, also had implants and the patient wished to change the, the grounds that he had on those implants. So now we are focusing on the lower, lower jaw. Yeah. On the lower jaw, the patient had a bridge, uh, uh, kind of partial, uh, because the bridge is from the canine to the, the molar on the opposite side. And we want to take impressions on the lower bridge. So, so even though we, Took impressions using a scanner on the upper upper jaw, on the lower jaw. The it's kind of a different case because it's very difficult to take impressions on the lower jaw using intraoral scanner. 
Because all the movable parts. Yeah, because all the, the movable tissues. Uh, you have the tongue, you have the lips, you have the, the movable gingiva, gingiva, the unkeratinized gingiva. It's a problem taking impressions. So what we did is we took the impression step by step. By step. At first, we added transfers, uh, the, the upper left picture, in the place where we've added a couple of implants. We, on the tra transfers, we attach caps, and on those caps, we paired composite material, and we brought this composite material to occlusion. So in this case, we fixed the, the occlusion of the patient, and from now on, we can take out the rest of the bridge and add transfers and caps. And all the other transfers and caps connect all together and take occlusion from those transfers of ca and caps uh, from the original occlusion. occlusion that we took on those two. So we did it step by step. You added more composite, more transfer, from composite, more transfer. Exactly. This is the original uh, occlusion. We changed the multi-units uh, from the, that were under the bridge to transfers. We've added plastic caps. We poured and connected all the transfers one to another. And we've added composite material to have a very good rigid uh, occlusion. That is the same occlusion as in the beginning of the, the impression taking. Because we did it step by step. Yeah, yeah. we did it step by step. We added uh, step by step and the composite material is a rigid material. So in this case, every time the patient opens and closes its mouth, it returns to the same position. So it's very easy to work with this material. It won't deform. It won't deform, unlike? Wax. Yeah, high five. This is the already the temporary restoration. Yeah, this is the temporary restoration for the lower jaw. Uh, you can see that the, the couple of implants that we've added and the implants that were placed before. We made a temporary bridge and we closed all the screw channels with the plastic pins. Then we took off the plastic pin and uh, polished the, the, the area. And the occlusion looks Yeah, the occlusion great. looks perfect because... Yeah. Look at the bin line, it's really in the middle. Yeah, this, this is what's supposed to be. Uh, this is why it's called midline. Uh, sometimes the midline is almost midline. And this is what the patient has right now. This is the, the, the form of the teeth that will be before uh, we're starting to make the cornea crowns. And now you send him home for like three yeah, months? Yeah, we we'll send him home to, to get used, to tell us what he likes, what he, he doesn't like. Uh, before making the, the, the final crowns, you need to, to, to wait some time. You need to see that everything looks fine. Uh, all in all, it's much better than the, the prosthesis that he had before. Yeah, it's much better. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for being with us today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow us to stay tuned with the latest cases. Thank you and have a great day.